News or me? At least 22 died as Russian missiles strike a Ukrainian passenger train. Wednesday, Russian missiles targeted a passenger train at a stop in eastern Ukraine, killing at least 22 and injuring 50 others. In a video speech to the United Nations Security Council, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that missiles had struck a service in Chapline, a hamlet of around 3,500 people located 120 kilometers west of Donetsk. Wednesday was Ukraine's Independence Day, and Zelensky had warned that Russia might attempt to disrupt the festivities. Boris Johnson was in Kiev to celebrate the country's Independence Day. Zelensky amended the death toll from 15 to 22 in a message sent on the messaging app Telegram, stating, As of this time, there are 22 dead, five of them were burnt in a vehicle. According to him, one of the victims was an 11-year-old child whose home was devastated by a Russian missile. Zelensky said, search and rescue activities continue at the train station. We will surely hold the occupiers accountable for their actions. And we will expel the intruders from our territory. Russia has repeatedly denied that its soldiers are targeting civilians. In April, at least 57 people were killed when Russian missiles struck the Kramatorsk railway station. On his last visit to Ukraine before leaving office, Johnson said that the United Kingdom will continue to stand with our Ukrainian neighbors, as he outlined an additional £54 million military assistance package. Ukraine is celebrating 31 years of independence from Moscow. Wednesday also commemorated six months since the beginning of the conflict. The Prime Minister has developed a strong relationship with Zelensky, and the purpose of this trip is to indicate that ties between the two nations will continue when he leaves number 10. What happens in Ukraine affects us all, he said. Therefore, I am in Kiev today. Thus, the United Kingdom will continue to support our Ukrainian allies. I think Ukraine will prevail in this conflict.